Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vinny. Hey, today's lesson um, is loosely based around an old honky-tonk uh, standard there, but uh, basically it's got a lot of country-style bands in it and some, uh, some double stops and, uh, of course, some chicken picking. One of the things I like to do is if, you know, just take some of these old standards and, you know, add some little fun licks to them. I mean, you got to play them in the clubs if you're doing the clubs. So, you know, why not have some fun with it? You know what I'm saying? Basically, the first half of the solo um, works out of pretty much just doing uh, country style bends out of like a, out of the major chords. And you're pretty much just following the chords. So, for example, the the... The first part of the solo kicks off in G, so we're here at the, uh, got our G chord there, and uh, at the uh, third fret of the first string, third fret of the second string, and we are uh, kind of bending the second uh, string, or the second fret on the th uh, third string up to the uh, upper whole note. And one, that's one thing uh, about country style bends is they're, uh, <clears throat> they're very on and off, kind of more like a steel guitar steps on a pedal. It's just very, you know, whereas a, a blues, a blues bend might have more, where it just kind of slides into it <clears throat> or bends into it, whereas a country style bend is pretty much you bend on and you hit that note real quick. But basically, we're just working out of the, uh, again, around the G chord there. And then when it goes to the C chord, we're just, you know, going up. We're just, instead of bending on the third string, we're just in that same shape, but we're bending um, the third fret on the second string. And then we're kind of back to that, uh, the first part, which was the G one. And it actually slides up to an A chord. So all we're really doing is going to slide from the A up two frets, or from the G up two frets to the A shape there. And then the next chord is D, so we're actually going to slide in and do a double stop. Uh, kind of thing. And then to finish that D chord off, we're gonna, uh, I always do like this, uh, it's kind of just a, I guess it's more of a blues lick in a sense, but but when, once you add in the uh, the f the uh, hybrid picking, it definitely gives it more of a country flavor, but that one is a uh, So that's the first half of the solo, which really, you know, sticks pretty close to kind of, you know, what the original recording was, at least what he did on the intro. Okay, so now that we get, we're gonna get to the second half of the solo, this is kind of where it changes up a little bit, where it goes more into the minor pentatonic sound. Um, um, but basically what it is, is this is where the chicken picking, part of it comes in, and a big part of the chicken picking is basically the... Uh, using the pick and the finger. And for this particular part of the lick, um, it's all done on the G note, or on the open, or on the G string, but you're picking down with your, f uh, with a pick, and then you're upstroking with your finger on the same string. So, so the, the basic part of the lick goes like this. So that's basically open, and then the uh, G string, then the third fret, then open, fifth fret, then open, sixth fret, then open, fifth fret, then open, 
third fret, open, fifth fret. So all together that's most of the time you're doing down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke, but at the very end of that where you're like squeezing in a couple of those notes closer together, um, you're actually gonna have to double pick like with or maybe even triple pick with your uh with your finger. So I'll, again, I'll do that really slow. And then the pattern starts all over again. It's the same shape. One more time. So then basically like on the fourth time through, it actually changes up. Um, where you're doing the uh, open string, then the third fret, then open, fifth fret, then open, seventh fret, open, nine fret, open, ten fret, open, eleven fret, open. Oh, I'm sorry, 12th fret open, 14th fret open, 12th fret open, and that's where it changes. So let's just kind of go back over that. I'll play that part again really slow. So if I play it slow, it goes something like this. Um, then we actually go back kind of to, we're at the 12th fret doing the G shape bends, kind of like what we were doing at the beginning part of the solo. Then there's actually a, an open string kind of droning little slide run that hit the open E, then the slide down on the second string, the 12th fret, from the 10th fret down to the, uh, or from the 12th fret down to the 10th fret, and then hit the open string again. And then slide from uh, the second string, slide from the 10th fret, down to the seventh fret, open string. And what that's kind of doing is just giving you something to get your way back down so that when we get to that last G shape, we're actually, um, or G, G chord, we're back down here. Um, so all together, that's. Then you're down here for the last run, which is basically. First couple of strings, it's going to be the uh, three, one, open. And the first string down, to, then down to the second string, three. Uh, so then uh, you're going actually going back to the first string and doing a pull off from the first fret to the open string. And then you actually just repeat that same pattern down here on, on the uh, second string and third string. And then you have a, a couple of, just a couple of more uh, runs here, which is the, uh, on the third string, it's third fret, second fret, and open, and you do that. basically the same pattern as these ones. Um, 
So you just do that a couple of times. And again, just move that exact same picking pattern and shape down to the next lower strings. And just kind of finish it off with that little bluegrassy. Slide from the, uh, the B flat to the B, open G, and then the G, bottom G note. All right, so uh, there you have it. Um, you know, have fun with this one. Uh, be sure to, to go download the tabs and the backing track so you got something to work with as you're working on this lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.